Hey guys, welcome back to Wicked Wednesday. So today I'm showing you how to get this um, spiderweb mask look, I guess. This is probably the easiest Wicked Wednesday I've done other than my pointed lip tutorial, which if you haven't seen, you should definitely check it out. Um, all I used was some eyeliner, some eyelashes, and just eye products, so you shouldn't need to buy anything. This is nothing special. So this is a really, really fun look. I can't stop looking in the mirror because it's so much fun. I'm obsessed with this, and this is an easy crowd pleaser at a Halloween party or anything. You can just throw it on and go. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and get into this tutorial. Please subscribe and thumbs up if you enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love to read them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Okay, so I started up with my face completely foundationed and primed and ready to go. So now I'm just going to take my Laura, Ma <laughs> Laura Mercier eyeshadow base and put that all over my lid. Now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm just going to go over my eyelids with it. This is going to be a good base to let the purple that we use really pop. You really only need it on the inner corner of your eye. Don't worry too much about the outer corner because it's going to be black. This would be much easier if my pencil was sharp. <laughs> Alright, once you're happy with that, just go ahead and rub it in with your fingers. Okay, next I'm taking a hard candy eyeshadow in the color Supernova. I'm just taking this on a regular eyeshadow brush and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Avoiding my outer corner though. Okay, now that my eyes are purple and fabulous, I'm going to take a white and I'm taking Crystalline by Mary Kay. I'm just going to put this into the inner corners of my eyes and blend it outwards to give some dimension. The reason why I'm doing this second is because I want it to be really, really subtle. So you're really going to blend that into your purple and make it just a light purple. Okay, so before I head into my crease with my darker colors, I'm just going to take a taupe and I'm using my NYX Golden Horizons palette and I'm just going to use this brown up here. It's a nice soft brown. This will help blend the darker colors into your actual eye once you get started with the grays and the blacks. This taupe will kind of act as a nice barrier and make sure everything blends. So I'm just putting this in my crease. You don't want to blend it too much into the purple because that'll make a mix that'll mix into a muddy color. So put it on and then blend it out towards your eyebrows and try to stay away from the purple. Once you have that how you like it, go ahead and add the darker colors. So I'm taking Pistol from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm actually going to be using a lip brush to put this on because I need something really, really small so I can be nice and precise with it. Um, so I'm just going to pick up some of the Pistol on my brush and start drawing where I want my corner to be. Once you have it mapped out where you want the gray to go, you can go ahead and take a fluffy brush and add some more pistol onto it and just start blending that into the purple and into your crease. Okay, now that I've finished with that, I'm going to take Urban Decay's Blackout and just do the exact same thing where I'm going to put it into my outer corners using a smaller lip lining brush. And I'm just going to pencil that in and then blend it out. So now that I've got the gray blended in, I'm going to go ahead and take Urban Decay's Blackout and just do the exact same thing where I'm going to draw it where I want it first with a smaller brush and then blend it out with a fluffy brush. So you'll see that since we layered multiple colors, since we went with the taupe and then the gray and then the black, this is all blending quite nicely and you actually have a larger room for error because everything will blend out so nicely. So that just makes it a lot easier on you and I highly recommend going from lighter color to darker color. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my, what is that called? 
drop shadow. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and do my drop shadow. So I'm going to do the purple out to the black. The reason I'm not doing the same layering technique under on my drop shadow is because it's not really necessary just because the drop shadow is more of an accent. It's not really noticed as much. So it doesn't matter if it's perfectly blended out. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and with the black. Okay, so before I do my eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and do the spider webs. So using a liquid eyeliner, a gel eyeliner, or a pencil, just go ahead and map out where you want the spider web to be. I'm using a liquid eyeliner that's almost empty because it won't mark too intensely. That way I can go back in with the pencil and um, mark where I want. So, let's see. I'm going to come out from my bottom, I'm going to go all the way up to my eyebrow, just draw a thick line. So it basically just looks like a really intense eyeliner wing. And I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. Alright guys, I'm not going to lie, normally I never get them right on the first try, so pretty proud of that takes you a few tries, don't worry about it. The, the good thing about starting with your outer corner is you can kind of, if you mess this up, you could just erase that and then blend that in. Alright, I'm going to draw a, another line. And this time, shut your eye and you can just pick anywhere you want it to come from. And it's easiest if you lay your pencil as flat as you can and just slowly drag it down. You're going to want everything to match as best as you can because otherwise you'll look crazy, but if it's not perfect, don't freak out. Like, I kind of have this eye slanting outwards a little more. I really don't think it's that noticeable. If it is, then awkward. Alright, so now that I have that marked out where I want it to be, I'm just going to go in with a really, really sharp eyeliner pencil, and that is the key. Okay, so now to spider web this puppy up, I'm just going to start connecting all the lines. Pull your skin tight so it doesn't drag, because when you're using the pencil, it'll tend to pull your skin a little bit, so tighten up your skin. Remember to keep sharpening your eye pencil because that's like the key to this looking good. Once you have everything how you want it, you can just go ahead and start touching it up a little bit. I like for my points to extend a little bit past the web. And then if any of your lines aren't clean enough, you can use a concealer or a makeup remover to touch them up. Okay, so I just scraped off a little bit of my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil onto the back of one of my brushes, and now I'm going to take a thin lining brush and take some of that white on here. And I'm just going to go in and highlight the web in some spots. It's better if you try to be nice and subtle with this highlight. It'll just add something a little bit interesting for the eye to look at. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my regular eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my eyeliner and I'm just gonna do a regular line on the top. Nothing fancy, no wing or anything. Honestly, it just kinda looks like an extension of your web. You can do it as thick as you want, as thin as you want. I'm kinda keeping it the thickness of the web to, for a little bit of consistency. Then I'm going to rim my eyeline or my waterline as well. Okay.
Okay, so now I want a little bit of extra drama added to my look, so I am taking Fright Night by Ardell Lashes in Mesmerizing, and I'm going to put them on both my top and bottom. I picked these because if you look closely at them, there's some gaps in the lashes, so you could, you'll be able to see the webs peeking through, and it kind of mimics the shape of the webs as well. So first I'm going to coat my lashes in some mascara, just so they're black and they'll match the new lashes. Okay, so with bottom eyelashes, you really want to make sure that they're curving downward instead of upward, like your upper lashes. And then you just go right, it's best if you kind of tilt your head down and look forward, and then go right underneath your lashes. And just gently place it. Sorry if I go out of focus, I need to get close to the mirror. Okay, so once your lashes are on, you can go ahead with your black eyeliner and kind of touch up anywhere the lashes aren't perfect or where there's glue or anything you want darker. And then I'm going to take a lip liner, and this is Brown by NYX, and I'm just going to outline my lips. I'm going to overdraw them a little bit just to add a little bit of drama. I'm also going to make the tops really pointy to kind of match the point theme. Okay, now I'm taking a soft matte lip cream, and this is Transylvania by NYX, because what is more wicked than Transylvania where Dracula's from? I'm just gonna fill in my lips. This is the coolest color. I'm obsessed with it. I'm just going in with a black eyeliner and kind of neatening up my lines. Okay, so as I filled in my lips and fixed them up a little bit, I kind of lost the points, but I'm okay with that because I kind of like how it looks with the fuller pout. So now I'm just going to take some concealer and clean up. Alright, and I would say that this spidery, wicked Wednesday is finished. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe to my channel, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye!